Hello, Form B. This is a recap of our frog dissection. Um, we're going to go over the two main parts of the frog that uh, you need to identify for your lab report. Uh, we're going to first look at the mouth um, and identify all of those parts. And then we're also going to then look at the internal organs and go over those parts as well. So you've all been shared this folder. It's called Frog Dissection Pictures. And uh, we're going to first look at the mouth. So I'm going to bring up that picture. So this is a picture of uh, the inside of the frog's mouth. Um, and the things that you need to identify uh, in this picture, um, as stated in the lab, uh, you're going to need to label the tongue, the esophagus, the goitus, the eustachian tube, the vomerine teeth, and the maxillary teeth. So the first thing is, is the tongue, and the tongue is actually covered up here by this uh, scalpel, um, but the tongue of the frog is located right here at the uh, front of the mouth uh, so that it can flip out. And so you want to label right this area right here as uh, the spot for the tongue. Most of you would cut out the tongue uh, during your dissections. The next thing that you want to look at is the esophagus, and the esophagus is this larger hole uh, right here. Um, and so that is the larger hole. That's where the food goes down and that leads to the stomach uh, of the frog. And so this larger hole right here is your esophagus. Um, the next is the goitus. And the goitus uh, is kind of hard to see. It's this thin area right here. Uh, and that goitus uh, leads down to the lungs. A lot of you did for your lab. Uh, you put the eyedropper into that portion of the frog um, to help inflate his lungs. So that leads down to the lungs but this is the area for the goitus. Um, the next is the eustachian tube. Um, in the eustachian tube, there's two of them. There's one right here, and then there's one right there. And those eustachian tubes, they lead to the tympanic membrane, which is essentially the frog's eardrum. Uh, and we also have our own eardrum uh, and eustachian tubes that lead into our mouth. Uh, and so this is just kind of the frog's version of that. So these, this is a tube or the entrance to the tube of the, of the eustachian tube that leads to the tympanic membrane. Uh, next, we've got the vomerine teeth, and they are right up here. These are fairly sharp in nature. Uh, they kind of help uh, hold that food in place um, for the frog. Uh, again, there's one right here and then one right there. Uh, again, that's the frog's vomerine teeth. And then there's also the maxillary teeth, and the maxillary teeth uh, really are along the entire upper jaw um, as they go right along, and you could have rubbed your fingers along his upper jaw to feel those uh, small, tiny teeth. It kind of feels like sandpaper. Again, these are where the maxillary teeth. So it's just one last review. We've got the tongue here. Then we have the esophagus here. We have the goitus here. Then we have the eustachian tubes right here and right here. So those two things are the eustachian tubes. We have the vomerine teeth right here. And then we have the maxillary teeth and they run all along the upper uh, lip there, okay? Folks, now we're going to look at the internal part of the frog, and so we're going to go back out to uh, the folders. Uh, and there's a variety of pictures that you can choose from. Uh, I'm okay with any of them. I'm going to first start with the one that was from the frog dissection uh, application that we did. Uh, some people find this pretty easy in terms of um, being able to identify uh, the various parts. Uh, for the frog, you need to, uh, internally, you have to... Uh, include the liver, um, the heart, the lungs, the gallbladder, the stomach, the small intestine, the large intestine, and the esophagus. So let's take a look at um, each of these. Uh, we'll first start with the liver. So in this picture, the liver are these big giant three lobes uh, right here. Um, and so there's big three of them uh, for your frogs. So this, these are the liver here. Uh, the next uh, one is the heart. And the heart is kind of hiding out here. It's right under here and it kind of pokes through there, but you've got um, your heart right there. All right, right in this top region. Uh, it kind of gets covered up by this liver, but there is your heart. Uh, then next is the gallbladder. Uh, the gallbladder is this green little sac uh, right here. So that is your gallbladder. Uh, the next is the stomach and the stomach is this big guy right here. This is the big um, stomach and that's where the food first goes from um, as it comes out the esophagus. So again, this is the stomach right here. Uh, then the stomach feeds into the small intestines. And so uh, the small intestines really is working itself all in this uh, area right here. These are all part of the small intestines, these thinner tubes um, connected. And then 
they lead into the large intestines. The large intestines is this kind of big guy right here. So this is your large intestines uh, here. And so all these curly cues, they end up feeding into then the large intestines um, at this point. And then next is the esophagus. And this is really hard to see in this picture, but if you just labeled right up here uh, where your esophagus is, again, uh, it's hard to see in this specific picture, but this would be your esophagus uh, right here in this picture. So again, uh, we've got the liver. There's the three lobes for the liver. Uh, you've got the heart uh, right up here. Then you have your gallbladder right here. You have the stomach, then you have the small intestines, the large intestines, uh, and then the esophagus right here. Let's take a look at another picture uh, of a frog that you could uh, use if you wanted to. Uh, and so here is uh, a plastic uh, version uh, of our frog. Uh, and again, all of the parts uh, are here uh, for you to be able to identify uh, if you so choose. So the first thing is, is this larger structure right here, this kind of blue grayish structure, that is your heart. Uh, you also have then here, you have the liver. So you have these two things here um, represent the liver in this picture. Um, here are the lungs, this little pink uh, guy here is your lungs for your frog. Then you move on to the gallbladder and that's this little green guy. So that is your gallbladder. Then you have your larger stomach uh, right here. And then it feeds into the small intestines, which is all of this uh, right here. And then that leads into this portion right here, which is your large intestines. And then again, the esophagus is kind of right up into this area here. You could guess you could count this part as part of the esophagus as it leads up into the throat of the frog. So again, here for this picture, you've got the heart and you have the liver, you have the lungs, you have the gallbladder, then uh, you have the stomach, then you have the small intestines, and then you have the large intestines, and then the esophagus kind of leads right up uh, through there. All right. Let's take one more look at another picture of the internal side of a frog. Uh, let's look at this guy here. So this gives um, pretty much all the different parts uh, except for the heart, and we'll there's another picture that has uh, the heart um, portion of it. But again, here is your liver, this black guy here, this black guy here, and this black guy here, those are your liver. Uh, the lungs itself is this guy right here, this kind of uh, darkish gray uh, mass is your lung. Um, here is the green gallbladder. So you have your gallbladder uh, located right there. Then you have your stomach, uh, which is this uh, organ right here. And then it starts to narrow down into this, which is your small intestines. All right? And you can see how it then the small intestines comes up here and narrows to this. And this organ right here is your large intestines. Um, you don't really see the esophagus in this picture. Um, and so if you do choose to use this picture, you're going to need to uh, use a second picture because then it'll also have a picture of the heart. But in this picture, you've got the liver, you have the gallbladder, you have the lungs, you have the stomach, you have the small intestines, you have the large intestines. All these curly cues are the oviducts, all right, um, as part of the, uh, the frog's anatomy. Well, let's take a look at another picture of the frog. So here we can see a little bit better. Uh, this is that same frog, but just the, the livers aren't lifted up, so we can't really see the lungs nor the gallbladder uh, in this picture. But right here is your heart. So in this picture, you've got your heart, you have your livers, uh, you have your stomach, you have the small intestines as it curlies around. And then here you have your uh, large intestines right here. Um, you do have the esophagus right here. That's that tube right there. So the stomach comes and goes right there. So that's your esophagus. So here the only, the picture you don't have are organs in this picture. You don't have the lungs, um, nor do you have the, uh, the gallbladder. Um, and so if you use the internal parts of the frog, you would need to use um, two pictures uh, for that matter. Okay. So those are all the parts of the frog. Uh, again, make sure that you uh, answer the various conclusion questions. Um, they span from uh, looking at, you know, was your frog a, a male or a female? Uh, what was the class average length for the frog? So you're gonna need to add up all of the lengths of the frog. Don't forget to include your length of your frog and then divide by um, however many frogs uh, you had in the class. Uh, then you need to talk about the functions of all the following parts, uh, the tympanic membrane, the eustachian tubes, the colloidus, the liver, the heart, the lungs, the gallbladder, the stomach, the small intestines, the large intestines, the kidneys, the testes, the oviducts, 
and the bladder. And all that information can be found uh, in the lab write-up. Uh, and then lastly, which was longer, um, the frog or its small intestine. So those are all the different things that you need to include uh, in your lab report, and they are due on Thursday, May 28th. Thank you, gentlemen, and I hope you enjoyed this screencast.